Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tributine and welcome to the channel. Anyways, this video is going to be a little different. This video I'm going to be introducing, you know, this new thing that's happening that's going to be so hype, so hype. And this is the Path of Exile Fall of Earth expansion which comes out August 4th unless it gets delayed. Hopefully it doesn't. I'm really hyped about this. But it's a dungeon crawler game for those of you that don't know. So it's like, you know, you just kind of walk around, control one guy, you have skills, and essentially you're just constantly grinding, I guess, to get loot. That's the whole point. You want to get loot. Loot is fucking king. Loot is dope. Anyways, for those of you that don't know, I am a big fan of dungeon crawlers. Diablo 2 has been such a massive part in my gaming career that it pretty much shaped who I was as a child. Like I used to I used to pick up rocks and be like these are runes and then I'd, I'd like wedge them into trees and be like now they have rune stones. Like I was I don't know, I guess that's pretty fucked up. But that's, I thought it was cool. Anyways, uh so this expansion's coming. It's going to be massive, massive changes. I don't really know everything that's going to be happening. It's my first time reading it. But why Path of Exile? Why not Diablo 3? Well, Diablo 3 is fine. Yeah, don't get me wrong, it's a great game, it's fun. There's not really much wrong with it. I mean, a lot of the er errors and issues got fixed with the expansion, Reaper of Souls. Reaper of Souls. I was going to say Fashion Reapers. Fashion Reapers, what the heck? Anyways, so Reaper of Souls fixed a lot of, uh, sorry, addressed a lot of these issues and made the game a little more fun. The only problem I had with Diablo is there's not a lot of room for error. I mean, there's hardcore. Hardcore is sick, don't get me wrong, that's dope. But I mean like, if I have two level 80 barbarians, they're both going to have the same traits, they're both going to have the same skills, I can have different skill builds, but they both have access to the same things. And essentially, the main difference between my two barbarians would be the sets. They're, they're, they're item sets, and these item sets would completely define what skill builds I choose. Now, what's nice about Path of Exile is it's kind of like more manual. It's more like Diablo 2, where if you screw up a skill, yeah, you can fix it. You know, there are ways to fix it. Like, in Diablo 2, you had those tomes that could reset one skill point and stuff like that. Uh, in Path of Exile, you can pay, I forgot what current cro no not a chromatic it's that silver silver orb looking thing orb of regret sorry yeah orb of regret and you can you know redo a skill uh, so yeah there is a way to get around it but still like I could have two marauders with entirely different skill trees I could have like one guy going off to the left and another person going off to the right in fact maybe I can look it up right now poe skill tree let's go Path of Exile skill tree. It's loading. See, that's you know there's a lot of builds when it takes as long to load. It's taking so long to load, guys. Holy. There we go. Boom. What is all this? All of these things are things that I can build into that shape my character. The skill tree is so advanced, and depending on which character you pick, you're either going to start here, you're going to start here, you're going to start here, you know, and you can build anywhere around the tree. So marauders, I don't remember where they start. I think they start here. I can I can have my first marauder go, wha-bam, this direction, and then wha-bam, all the way to the top, all the way over here to, like, all the intelligence stuff. If I had a different build in mind. Or I could go Shazam and then wha-bam, this direction. Completely different builds. And the more I invest in it, the more difficult it is for me to reset my build, which is great. And that's why I love Path of Exile, that it just has that little punishing factor, which is quite nice. What's, what's great about this expansion? Well, so, so far, Path of Exile, you have four acts, three difficulties. Normal, Cruel, and Merciless. So you would play these four acts, you beat them, now all of a sudden you're in Merciless difficulty. Or sorry, Cruel difficulty. And you play these four acts again, they're the exact same four acts, just with an added difficulty, and then bam, you're in Merciless. And then you can play the four acts again on the hardest difficulty, Merciless, and then now you're done with the campaign playthrough. But, what is Fall of Arath going to do is it's going to add six new acts. 
and it's gonna completely trash the whole normal cruel merciless system so rather than doing the same four acts three times you're only gonna have to do these ten acts once what does that do is it kind of removes a little bit of the linearity in the game as you're progressing through the campaign also for a lot of the players that I've played you know have made multiple tunes it gets a little tedious doing the same thing. It, I like when I make a new tune, I just kind of autopilot through the campaign. But these new acts, hopefully, it's going to remove a little bit of the linearity and increase a little bit of the interest through the storyline. I mean, they can easily increase. They can easily make it better. And this is this is definitely what I think is a step in the right direction. Now, what else do we have? What else do we have? The Pantheon. Defeating the gods in part 2 unlocks their power, providing passive defense bonuses. Okay, so you defeat gods, you get their passives. I can really, I can see like some builds being focused around that. I don't really know what these builds are, but, or these passives are, but, you know. We can check them out later. Heartbringer League. Leagues. I love leagues. See, some people they play Path of Exile, they play Diablo, and they're like, oh, I'm gonna stay in this forever, you know, I don't wanna lose my wealth. Yeah, you see, like, losing the wealth is part of the fun, you know? Having all this wealth, and all of a sudden you're naked on the beach. You gotta get everything again, you're like attacking crabs with a stick. It's fucking sick. I love it. It gets the meta flowing, because every time you make a new guy, it's like you wanna try something new. And then the more people try something new, the more we can pool our information together to tie them together and make a build. And that's what defines our meta. New items. Here are the ones we know of. Soul Tether. Level 16 belt. Energy shield cannot be regen, cannot be recharged. You lose energy shield. Life leech is applied to energy shield while on full life. Gain maximum life as maximum energy shield. Interesting. So I guess as you attack, it's like you're building up a temporary shield. You're building up a temporary buff for yourself, like a defensive buff. And if you stop attacking, it drains over time. That's cool. New stuff. Balance changes. All right. That's cool. Interesting. Valpak no longer applies to energy shield leech. Ghost Reaver now reduces energy shield recharge rate. Oh, okay. So some, some more energy shield changes coming in. Uh, I remember last season, before they changed it, energy shield was such a massive thing. It's like, are you playing life? <laughs> you suck. No, energy shield's where it's at. Yeah. But they're expensive, though. Getting those, uh, getting those energy shield equipment, you know, rips your wallet apart. But, yeah, anyways, uh, that's... I just want to let you guys know that I'm just so hyped about this and uh, I'm going to make some videos on it and if any of you guys are interested in playing Path of Exile as well the new expansions coming out, new leagues coming out, now would be the perfect time to get into the game, to pick it up there's no better time than now let's ride the hype train, let's jump on the bandwagon with me come on, let's go, let's fuck ooh, let's do this anyways, thanks for watching Check out my new Path of Exile video soon. Peace. That was a little creepy.